High in the Kachin Hills, nestled between the Chinese border and the Myanmar Army, the Kachin Independence Army, or KIA, controls a long line of outposts dotted along hilltops. Fighting here has intensified in recent months, even as Western governments have suspended sanctions in Myanmar and praised the government for progress towards democracy. But its reforms mean little to the soldiers and civilians within firing range of Myanmar army positions. Predominantly Christian Kachin is rich in natural resources. Investments by Chinese and Myanmar businesses have escalated tensions. When a 17-year ceasefire broke down last year, some of the fiercest fighting erupted around Muse in the proposed path of a multi-billion dollar gas pipeline linking Myanmar's offshore gas fields to China's Yunnan province. The KIA war effort is coordinated from Liza. Since April, the Myanmar army has pushed to take this small border town. The local inhabitants live in fear of attack. In the center of the town, there is a bustling market where many of the civilian population do their shopping and shopkeepers continue to trade. <laughs> To date, over 88,000 people have been displaced into camps because of the conflict. Just outside of Liza, Jayanka Camp is home to 6,845 internally displaced people, with more arriving every day. The Myanmar government has been accused of blocking UN attempts to deliver aid, with only four aid convoys reaching camps in KIA-controlled territory in the past year and a half. Here those displaced line up for rations. Many of those who have been displaced tell harrowing stories of atrocities committed by the Myanmar army. Human rights violations have been carried out against the civilian population and servicemen and women alike. We found systematic targeting of civilians by the Burmese military. Uh, we found uh, instances of beatings and torture. Uh, we found uh, killings of civilians, a number of cases of, of sexual abuse, uh, use of child soldiers by both sides, uh, and certainly use of excessive force by uh, security forces uh, on, the, on the Burmese army side. The question remains as to how foreign governments might influence this conflict. Human Rights Watch has criticized Western countries for suspending sanctions too quickly saying that the regime stands to profit from lucrative investments without any benefit for the vast majority of its citizens. And China appears to be working with both sides. Catching rebels rely on supplies from across the border, even as Chinese businesses plan major projects with the Myanmar government. If China wanted to uh, end this insurgency by the, by the KIA very quickly, they, all they would have to do is close that border. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, the Kachin would be in a very, very serious situation. What it indicates is that the Chinese are not entirely on the, the Burmese government's side. The question is, what is the game for the Chinese in Kachin State? Mm -hmm. And at this point, uh, only the Chinese can really answer that question. <laughs> Several rounds of peace talks have ended in deadlock. In negotiations, the KIA has requested that the Myanmar army withdraw immediately from their territory and an independent signatory is present when the ceasefire is signed. The Myanmar army says it will only pull back its troops when the KIA has laid down its arms. At present, both sides can't even decide where to hold future talks. And with no end in sight, the KIA says it will continue to fight. On location in Kachin, this is Anthony Neal and Christopher Symes, reporting for Global Post.